Well, coming off a big big week for us, obviously to go from three and three in the conference to six and three, it was a really big week for us. Uh, win two road games, we've been uh, stellar on the road and hope to continue that. Play a very good Michigan team, uh, a team that was ranked in the top 25 recently. You know, seven different women's basketball teams in the Big Ten have been ranked in the top 25. Uh, and I get this is my first year here, but I've certainly been following the Big Ten for a long time, and I can never remember the Big Ten being ranked uh, number two in the RPI and having seven different teams ranked in the top 25 uh, at one time. So it's been, been a good year so far for the Big Ten, and uh, another big week for us uh, having Michigan and then returning home with Minnesota at home in our play for K game. And so excited about the week and hopefully continue to play well. Matt, you announced earlier this week that Kira Morris is joining uh, Kirsten Magrum out for the season. How do you plan now with the loss of those two to balance your uh, roster for the rest of the season? Yeah, we just kind of got to move forward. You know, we don't have a whole lot of choices. Um, you know, Taylor Tuck's been playing well off the bench, and we kind of use a six-person rotation. Um, hopefully, Mackenzie Piper and Nia Oden possibly can add some minutes down the road, especially if we get in foul trouble. But with the media timeouts and as athletic as we are, we've been pretty fortunate playing six. I mean, if we can get through last week playing three games in six days, you know, it probably puts us in fairly good shape for down the road. But we keep reading that. You know, we obviously have adjusted practice a little bit and not gone quite as long or done as quite as much full court stuff uh, because of that. Um, but we've got to move forward and you know, the player, hopefully players will step up. What have you seen in Michigan, a team with another first-year head coach like yourself? Yeah, yeah, I compare them a lot to Iowa. They split with Iowa, had two close games with them, and that they're highly skilled. They pass the ball really well, shoot the ball really well, and so you can't let it be a game of skill uh, against them. You can't let them run their stuff and uh, feel comfortable. And so we got to have some toughness and take them out of what they want to do a little bit and just be physical with them because uh, they pass and shoot the ball extremely well. And when, when they do that, they're they a really good basketball team. When you get down to a six-player rotation, do you do you kind of test your, your your players' conditioning and so forth? I mean, they're not going to get many breathers, are they? They're going to be out there going. Yeah, play. those six better be in pretty good shape. And uh, you know, I think one of the things we pride ourselves on is how hard we practice, and certainly feel like that prepares them well for uh, the game environment. Um, so I think those six, and they, those six have to be interchangeable too. You know, that uh, Adrian has given us a lot of flexibility because she can really play, you know, the three, four, five. Uh, Amber Moore's being able to play some four for us. And so um, different kids, Taylor Tuck can defend and rebound. You know, she's done that in the buzz, especially done a pretty good job. So I think just that flexibility with the athleticism we have has kind of helped us. We've also, Ivory has been playing a little bit of point and done a, a good job with that. And Amber, we've run a few sets with her at the point as well. So just kind of mixing things up with those six and, and those six being interchangeable and being really flexible has helped us be able to do different things and match up different ways. You know, we can start different kids on certain kids and then switch them later depending on foul trouble. So uh, those six have been, because of their length and their athleticism has given us some um, flexibility. What do you need to see from McKenzie and Nia before they get increased playing time? Yeah, I said it in the paper yesterday. McKenzie, just defensively, you know, just show us that you can defend. You can see the, just the speed of the game. The hardest thing as a freshman is just adjusting to the mental transitions in the game of basketball and be able to see those things happening. And uh, she certainly is getting better, and she's better defensively today than she was two weeks ago and growing in that. And then Nia, just kind of a feel for the game, understanding against the zone what pass to make and understanding what we're trying to accomplish in, in certain areas. Um, Nia is very athletic, uh, but can sometimes slow down and just you know, uh, let the game come to her a little bit more. You win three games and you lose two players. How has this team kind of adjusted to the highs and lows just in this past week. Yeah, I don't know that because those players have not been playing. I think it would have been a little bit tougher. Had Kirsten and Kiera been, you know, playing in games, and then all of a sudden they're out for, you know, uh, out, and then it makes a little more difference. So we've had to kind of adjust. Kirsten's been out for a while. Kiera's been out for a long time. So, you know, I, I think it was kind of a, a maybe a little bit of a mental thing when, you know, they heard them say they're done. Obviously, that's a big deal. So, But without them playing, I, hopefully it shouldn't be too much of a transition on the court because we've been out without them for a while. Anything on the phone lines for Illinois women's basketball coach Matt Bolant? Anything else in the room? Thank you. Thank you. Have a great day.